prices. With me, you have always much to... Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kenway, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. And you hold off till he appears. The Sage is here? Aye. And Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. Stay in my blade for a time, but not long. And they whipped to a bloodthirsty mob beforehand. Shall warn you again. I am having anything for the delight you, my friend. That's the last warning. Shall warn you again. All that. That's the last warning. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Nearer 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Just change in that short time, you know. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. That's the last warning you'll get. <laughs> Don't pretend you didn't hear me. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ah! Convert them! Oh, no, sorry. There's none here so foolish as that. <clears throat> foolish? How... Foolish? Something's scary. Oh, foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. Stand your ground, slave, and face corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now, when you have denied me that right for 30 years? I find your bearing appalling, Prince. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely many talent and intelligence should leave. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, 
guaranteed will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? For virtue, it's not me. Virtue? Oh, Taurus. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Watch for your step, boy! There's stories about you too, sir. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um, you say you came alone, Taurus? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! No. Not until we see the Sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not far out. Deal with this! You cocked up my kill, Kenway. For a better cause. Oh, 
Here's your chance, man. I'm going after Prince. Kid, no! Jim, stop! Not this time, Kimway. Coins! Come on, man! We can work this together! You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Jim, stop! Damn you, old scratch! Keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both! Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that?